Yo, good morning, good morning. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Coop again with another video, man. Woke up this morning after I got some coffee in me, man, and saw that we had more support for U6. I'm excited. I've seen some of the comments in the uh, DBS discussion group. I tried not to read too deep into them because I, you know, I want these things to be a surprise for me. So I didn't dive too deep into it. I don't even know what any of the cards do. So we're going to go ahead and. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what U6 got, man. They trying to they trying to bring U6 back from the dead, which is fine with me. I'm I'm down for it. I'm all for it. But make sure if you like the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like down below, comment down below on some stuff that you would want to see in a new set. And also, if you're not sub to the channel, man, go ahead and sub to your boy. Help your boy out. All right, we're trying to grow around here. But anyways. Let's go ahead and dive into these reveals for today. Got a four drop SS Kefla Unending Evolution. Dual attack Union Pator for double blue with stipulation of Khalifa and Kale. Right? Auto win this card is played from your deck. Draw one card and choose one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of their deck. Auto is already looking <laughs> kind of nice. I activate main for two blue. Complete the cards to use six card and your opponent has four more energy. You may place this card at the bottom of its owner's deck. If you do, choose up the one blue Kefla card with energy cost of eight in your hand and play it. Man, dope rare. Dual attack 20k. Union Patora for two. Like it's crazy. Because, you know, with the one drops, Kale and uh, Khalifla is, is easy. Easy fodder. Uh, for this card to come out and then be able to on play draw a card and bottom deck one of their battle cards not restricted to energy cost you know on thing save of course is barrier so i, I think the auto is pretty is uh, going to be pretty good um and then to activate main for two blue you know just being able to play eight drop kefla from your hand is uh is crazy getting both getting two 20k swings and then paying two blue getting it on out of there at the bottom of your deck to play a drop from your hand i see what y'all doing you six i see what you're doing <clears throat> let me go for one drop ss2 califla universe six combination when this card is uh play draw card activate main for two if you leave the card as a blue kale card place this card in your leader card from your hand you can't play non-unit non universe six battle cards with 35k power less for the game mm, i don't i don't like this it draws a card you know nothing wrong with drawing cards but i still feel like the og one drops are probably better than this card um you know you might want to use this for union patora fodder but other than that i i, I think the uh the og one drops are, are better than this card <coughs> Uh, assist determination for one counter attack. You leave the cards and use this card, negate that attack. You may choose one blue card in your hand and discard it. If you do, your opponent can can only attack one more time for the turn with a battle card or use the card of 20k power or more. Hmm. Activate battle limit one. If it's your opponent's turn, choose the one of your cards and it gets 10k power for the battle. Then choose one of your mono blue energy and switch it to active mode. This card's kind of good. It's like a, hmm, it's like a, it's like a Nimbus mixed with uh, Violent Rays. And it negates the attack off rip. And it's a May effect of this in the card. If you just want to just negate the attack for one, uh, then fine. But uh, that effect is a, uh, it's pretty good because there's a lot of there's a lot of cards that you know you can also combo whatever card you ditch um if it's a battle card but it just it just says a blue card doesn't matter if it's a battle card unison anything like that as long as it's blue you can ditch it so i think it's pretty good probably be a good solid two of maybe three in a build um definitely think it's going to be uh it's going to be good i I approve. Then we have a SS Khalifa Rapid Repost uh, for three. Has deflect. Deflect is good. You know, t 
touches that Godzilla and technique. Activate main limit one for a blue. Leader the card is a blue U6. Then you have two or more energy. Play this card from your hand, then you're all card. And then activate main for two. Leader the card is a blue kill card. Play this card, and then you lead the card from your hand. Uh, you can't play non U6 by the cards 35k. 35k power or less for the game. <clears throat> so, deflect 15k. Um, you can draw a card. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'm missing something. But placing this under your leader, I'm just like, you know, I don't want to restrict myself to, you know, uh, place this card on your leader card from your hand. You can't play non-universe six cards with 35k power or less for the game. So it's setting you up. You got to play big boys, but it's staying right here in parentheses. You can still play tokens. So that's cool. Maybe there'll be some stuff that uh, comes out, supports this cause a little bit better. Or maybe I'm missing something. All right, we've got two drop Kefla Universe 6 Fusion Warrior. When this card is played from your hand, draw two cards and choose one card from your hand. Place it at the bottom of your deck. <laughs> That's a good auto. Um, activate main for a blue. If your opponent has two more energy and you choose one Khalifa card and one Kale card in your drop, play this card from your hand and place the chosen cards under it. Hmm. So it's like a pseudo Patora. I like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, activate main limit one. The leader card is a blue universe six. And you discard this card from your hand. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Add up to one blue or yellow Khalifa or Kale card with energy cost of four or less among them to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. I like a lot of the searching that um, U6 is doing right now. You're digging for a lot of your pieces. Um, to find what you need So basically a lot of these builds are probably going to be you know centered around uh, Union Fatora. Um you still have the old uh, Old four drop dual attack um, 19k uh, Kefla that they printed back Many sets ago. That's probably gonna see some value. I might have to go ahead and um, pick up some of those as well again because I sold them way back in the day um, definitely gonna be good support for Surge Kefla. I think Surge. It depends on what they print, man. Surge might make might make his way back. Well, Surge Kefla, maybe. Uh, we have an SS3 Kale Universe Six combination counter attack. To get the attack, play this card. Uh, permanent for leader card is U6 card, and it's your opponent's turn. Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two, so it would be a one cost. And then if your leader card is a blue Kale card. Uh, when this card is played, you may choose one card in your hand and discard it. If you do, your opponent can attack with battle cards for energy cost greater than their current energy for the turn. Let's they choose two cards in their hand and place them at the bottom of their deck each time. Oh, wow. So, Topo-esque, right? But it's, it's restricted to Blue Kale. So... All these blue, all these powerful blue decks won't be able to splash this card and get the auto effect from it. But, <clears throat> which is one thing I like, I like that they did this, you know, because it's a one cost and it's locked to blue kale. So, they're, they're trying to build some power around this blue kale, you know. I think some people are going to get some of these cards in their hands and they might try to break her. I don't know. But I really like that the auto is restricted to her alone. And it gives you that Topo-esque effect. Having the bottom cards is crazy. Especially because, honestly, a lot of decks don't shuffle a lot. So if that thing is bottom, it's basically the same as having to discard it. You're like, damn, I'm never going to get that card again. You know, because you don't interact with your drop. And the same thing is if, if your deck doesn't shuffle a lot, if it gets bottomed, you know, that's it. But I, I like this. That's a. Uh, if I decide to play kill, might be decent. But we'll see. And you got Doctor Rhoda, power draw. When this card is played, draw a card. Who doesn't like to draw cards? This is gonna go good. Shout out to my boy Reed. He's a. Uh, <laughs> I know he's gonna want to play this because. He is a uh, Zeno guy. He loves to play Zeno, and his Zeno deck is cracked. You know, abuses hit in cold blood. 
uh, just being a draw card, just digging for all his pieces, he's fine with it. He is fine with it. Uh, Sell Nell, Universe 6 combination. Your shout outs to them printing them Namekian for your boy. Three drop. At the end of a battle in which this card is used in a combo from your hand, play this card from your drop area in rest mode. Nice and simple. I enjoy it. Namekian love, you know, I'm a Namekian through and through. Shout out to yo, Bandai, if you're listening. We need a uh, we need a green piccolo leader. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yo, Purina Universe 6 combination. When this card is played, draw a card and choose up one of your opponent's battle card and you cost three or less. Turn to the hand. Hey, drawing cards. Who doesn't like to draw cards? I mean, bounce something back. That could be a problem on the board for you. Um, is also well, you know. Dark Power Black Mass saying, you know, things that are annoying because I feel like with decks like this, um, Black Mass saying might have to uh, make a little return, at least in the sideboard. Uh, and then you got Magetta, 30k skillless guy. Somebody's going to run skillless Kid Ku somewhere in the world and uh, and make this work. Um, so, yeah, that's all the reveals for the day. Um, seeing some of the comments, power of a tour buyout, man. Yeah, probably. If you if you don't have them now, you uh, you might want to look into buying them. I, I'm a casual guy, so I'm not I'm not um you know I'm not spending a lot of money in the game. But uh, some of these cards are very interesting to me. Um, this Kefla, very good. Like being able to play the eight drop from your hand. Um, and it says a blue Kefla card. Uh, power of a tour counts as Kefla, so. You know, on a turn four, dropping Power of a Tour is a good beat kind of nuts. Um, really like Assistance Determination. I think it's going to be a good card. Probably become a staple uh, in a lot of decks. Um, a lot of this deck just, a lot of this support just digs for cards for you, which is okay. You want to find your pieces as fast as possible. So I really enjoy it. Um, I think the only thing that makes still makes things sketchy is that not having barrier and a lot of these cards not having to flick. Um, God similar technique is still a thing. Um, Breeze's charismatic villain is still a thing. Um, a lot of these cards are still acceptable to uh, Yamcha counterplay. Uh, you know, of course. Y Cards can't be busted to the point that they get over everything. Um, but just some of the cards that are in the meta right now um, can still probably pose a problem for you, Six. Um, I guess we'll have to wait till maybe a ban list to see if they touch anything, adjust some things, and go from there. Um, but the two drop kill, really like it a lot as well. Um, most of the stuff I'm probably going to pick up just, just because it's blue. And uh, blue is really hot right now. And, uh, yeah, this Universe 6 combination, Kale, is uh, great that they restricted it just to her alone. But uh, other than that, I mean, the support, decent support, um, I think it's going to push blue-yellow even further. Um, I think as, as long as, you know, uh, Godzilla Technique is around, um, Zamasu the Eliminator is around, I think a lot of decks will still run Bojack um, and get, you know, a lot of use of, of Aegis, you know, drawing a card, restanding two energy, um, you know, on defensive step. Uh, I feel like blue is still in a very good position. And I think the doors have opened even further because these blue leaders are, are good. Like, there's a lot of them. There's more than a handful of good blue leaders right now. And um, a lot of these cards aren't restricted to just U6 or just Kale, you know, Kaba, things like that. So we'd have to see how it goes. But uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Yo, let me know. Let me know what leader you'd want to be printed next. I personally need me a very good green Piccolo leader. Like that's it's only right. My man's is green. He needs, he needs a green leader. So 
Bandai, if you're watching this somewhere out here or somebody in here watching this video got some ties to Bandai, yo, go ahead and talk to them because I need that exclusively for me, right? So, like, comment, subscribe. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow with more uh, reveals. I'm waiting on Friday because we get green Friday. So, one more day. I hope we get the sauce and I hope Vegeta is busted. Holla at y'all later. Peace.